welcome to Pink Poodle too. I am Pink Poodle. There is Maisie the East End Poodle and West End Poodle Priscilla. I am Pink Poodle. I have Billy Bum Bum here. Yeah, hello Billy Bum Bum. And Dordors is here. There's Dora. Say hello Dora. Nope. She just wants to sleep. Um, and we are Pink Poodle. And I hope everybody is safe and well. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday because it's Sunday the 31st of January. Can you believe January is gone? It is kaput. It is gone. 2021 January is gone forever. Well, by midnight anyway. But you know what I mean? It, it doesn't seem like it was just Christmas or my, you know, a week ago or something. It's gone so quick that I don't know where the time's gone. <clears throat> Which I suppose is good in a way, especially when you're missing your family. You don't want it to drag too much, you know, although it does drag because I miss my family terribly. And, <clears throat> yeah, I'm hoping, like, my Jessie's had her first injection, so hopefully she'll have the injection how many weeks after. Hopefully my injection ain't going to be too long now. Hopefully in the next month, I hope, anyway. And, um... <clears throat> yeah, and try to move on with our um, lives because it's difficult. I miss Lily so much. Lily's my granddaughter who's seven in um, May, a week after my birthday, and I've not really seen her brother who was born the 18th of November. So he's grown up. I see him on FaceTime, but, you know, don't see him there. And I know she's missing seeing the dogs because she loves the dogs, especially Dora. And... Um, yeah, and of course my auntie Maureen's not very well at the moment so we're looking out for auntie Maureen we go there in the morning and we'll give her breakfast, stay with her for an hour or two, and then in the evening we take our evening meal with us and we eat evening meal with auntie Maureen so we're there for about an hour and a half two hours in the evening so, you know and she's, she seems to be hopefully getting better but it's going to take quite a lot of time and of course, we've got nothing but time on our hands. I, I can't go every morning because mornings are really hard for me because of my legs and stuff. So I'm on medication and I, this has to be done, that has to be done with my legs. So, yeah, so it's easier if I just go on the days when I need to go. And other than that, Paul goes. And yeah, so we're getting there with that. Um, Dora is doing really well. She's, um, yeah, she seems to be defying the odds at the moment. She, I mean, she's still wetting all the time hence why she wears the nappy we do get a couple of mess nappies sometimes um but on the whole she's still being dora some days she's quieter than others um but yeah it, it's just we're just trying to live one day at a time with dora because we don't know how long it's going to be you know with the cancer so we're just trying our best to just oh, sorry that's not that's right, the shadow so yeah so yeah, so you'll probably wonder why you why I've made this video, but you've seen what um, it says on the title, so you're aware what it is. And also, just to let you know, I revisited a, a palette today that I haven't worn for quite a long time, and it was the Make Magic palette from Kami in collaboration with Revolution that came out about two, two and a half years ago. So I used that today on my eyes, and I thought it came out quite nice. And I've got brown eyebrows because my hair is looking like a strawberry Sunday. So um, it's blonde at the moment because we're waiting to get it. I'm waiting to get it dyed pink because I don't like to, uh, you know, blonde it and then put the dye straight on because I want it to keep in the best condition it can. So this is hence why we're looking like this. Can you hear Paul? He does <clears throat> nothing quietly. Even sneezing is a big to do. Anyway, on with this video. So I do apologise, I've rubbed it on for like five five minutes without actually saying much at all really. But um so this video is my empties for <laughs> January two thousand and twenty one. It is a mixed bag again because I think that if you see what I actually do use from like the Augusta box, that gives you an indication whether it's enjoyable or whether it's not. Generally it's enjoyable, but some of the stuff is from the Degusta box, which was ages ago, which we've just finished, so, you know, but, so let's get on with it. Some of it's makeup, some of it's whatever. So, um, first of all, I'm going to um, get my box. This is all here. Let's put a, 
is get the uh, lightning thing that did my blonde and this is really good this costs a pound in the pound shop and to be honest this is just as good as any any other bleach it's like it's just enough there to do my hair I mean last time I did the Jerome and whatever one and I had it on a bit too long and this is what happened my hair broke so I only have a little bit of long hair now but the rest as you can see broke off and this is how short it is all around as you can see <laughs> so you know so I had a really good one and it sort of broke my hair because I had it on for a bit too long but you know that was my bad but um, yeah but this is really good and when I saw it I bought two so I've only got one left now so I'll have to go and get another one if I can if I'm out near the pan shop then I'll do it if not I'm not going to make a habit of going in there so if I've got to go to uh, an appointment or something then I'll pop in there then so yeah so there's this so I'm going to put this just in the, on top of my bin for now because I want to count them after and I don't really want to thingy so then we've got wipes now I've only got one packet in here this time but we have actually used another two of these and we've used some wipes these wipes two packets of these wipes in the bar in the toilet these ones are not from the toilet obviously these are the ones in my fairy room but two two of these so we've used five pack of wipes all together and um these ones here are biodegradable so they're okay for the to the um the planet um i'm not sure if these are biodegradable i don't think they are but i don't i got these a long time ago so i, I tend to buy um biogradable ones because especially and the nappy sacks as well because i just feel that you know you've got to do some sort of thing for the environment so so there'll be three of these used but i think there was some other makes of these but i didn't grab them in time before paul actually chucked the um, containers away but i know there's been about three ones that i use for uses for my legs in the morning just to make sure they're all are um you know clean and stuff before he puts anything on them and I know there's two of the ones from the toilet used. You know, if I could, as I said before, I'd have a B-Day. But unfortunately, I don't have a B-Day. And I'm just a bit obsessed about things like that. I know, I have this real obsession about things. So, yeah, so there's them. So, let's put this on top here. These are actually what were left to the ones in my makeup room. So, yeah, that's why there's hints why there's makeup on them. Um, then we've got <clears throat> some things we got into the, the Guster box this month, last month, this month, and these were the shots, and these were really nice, you know. Um, I ate these, so I really enjoyed these. Um, these are always a welcome thing for me because I quite enjoy this sort of thing. And I'm just grabbing stuff as I go because there's quite a lot. Also, I, um, I think I shared this a little bit with Paul, but not very much really enjoyed that very rich very um can't eat too much of it at once very like full of sugar and but it was very nice and i think paul enjoyed it. yeah i did give paul half of this i think yeah so he quite enjoyed that so it wasn't i didn't eat the whole thing but we had that that was very nice that was in the gust box this month um then something different um my niece she when she come down ages ago she left these in the fridge and she said like when i'm feeling a bit rough and that to take them and it's a really good make of uh, vitamin c and they come in like sachets and she's been and left me she came to stay for a couple of days um from yorkshire because she was uh, she's on her own with her son and she's quite isolated so we did all the measures and for her mental health she came and stayed with us for a couple of days so um <clears throat> she left me another box of these and these are really good so when I feel a bit like I'm being a run down or I feel like a bit you know I tend to um, have these and this gives me a bigger boost of vitamin C I quite like these you just put it in orange juice or you can drink it neat which is a bit ugh, but you know you can do it and put it in a drink and you just knock it down and so this is really good vitamin C and like we need all the vitamin C we can at the moment with everything that's going on so what was this? Oh, this was the, um, where did I get this from? I think this is what we got in the occult box, um, December. 
um, yes it would be the occult box and I really did like this um, it was really nice I really enjoyed this I also drank all of the one from which casket which I absolutely loved they did a, um, a black tea that had like little candy um, Christmas trees in and oh it was just so wonderful loved it very very Christmassy vibe I loved it so I love what they what that, and I love that one as well from the cult box because they're really tasty let me in my hands everywhere and then I finally used up the Dr. Sabre um, serum from and I've took the pepep out pepep because I thought it might help with some of my things with my room um, bits and bobs so because it's a nice little pipette it's glass and it's really nice so this was a worth a whopping £17.50 for this tiny little jar of what was it oh, I don't even know five mil I think I think it was five mil was it yeah £17.50 very nice very thick serum so yeah so I finished that and that was worth £17.50 I haven't seen anything on um latest in beauty that catches my eye so that's why i haven't got it of late so if that's what you're wondering why i've also finished this finally and i've had this for over a year this oh there's still a little bit in there i'll put that in my hair before i chuck it in the bin you can see there's a tiny little bit in there i'll put that in my hair in a little bit but i finally finished this this was um in my latest in beauty advent calendar last year that i won not this year um the 2019 and this is a really nice oil and you can see like you just put it, it smells absolutely lovely and um, I'm going to put the rest of that in my hair after I finish this video excuse my um, uh, chest is a bit because <clears throat> my asthma has been playing up because I'm going to Auntie Maureen she has it really hot there it kind of makes my chest quite tight so that's all right so now we're on to this and this was um something that i got on the few unique sample service ages ago and i really did like this and it smells really lovely i might actually keep the bottle because it's um would come in handy to use for other things like with my other bits and pieces i want it so yeah so i really did enjoy this oil I think it's quite expensive as well and I know that um, Helen from Hellswood Loves she sent me like that hair mask um, in a little package she gave me for Christmas and so I really like that as well so there's that I'll put them there because I'm going to repurpose them love a bit of repurposing right <clears throat> then finally finished these we got these in um, I don't know when we got these uh, maybe the summertime or just after the summer in the Gusta box took ages to eat these um but they were really nice and tasty paul really enjoyed them and they're vegan so that's a that is a result in itself and um because i find like you now being well i've not had meat for four or five years now and it was just an experiment i did see if i could do it because like i just felt can i do it can i not do it and after i did it for a month I thought, oh, I'll do it for for, to, um, for um, Lent, and then um, and then I just didn't want to eat me no more. So yeah, so there was that. So and then we're on to some other bits and pieces here. So this was some. I bought some of these things. They were reduced down in Tesco's. They were the. Um, I don't think I've got the box here. They were like chocolate discs. And they were vegan ones and they were orange flavoured ones. So Paul didn't like these so it took a while to eat them but they're there that. They are made by a company called M something or other. I can't remember what it's called now. Then I was absolutely ecstatic when I found some vegan. I've had these before. When I went to um, the um, allergy show which I haven't been for two years now because like, we couldn't go last year because of the pandemic. And they sell big stalls selling these and these are really nice and these were the bigger ones because normally you get the little tiny ones but these were the bigger ones a bit like flumps and I was really happy with those and I, they lasted me for quite a while because I didn't want to eat them all at once because they're hard to get hold of 
Well, I suppose you can go in. Sometimes you can get them in Holland and Barrett, but it depends on your Holland and Barrett. And then I had one of these. I've still got the packet up there. Um, I had this. I didn't eat this as cereal or anything like that. I just ate it because I was hungry. Um, these were the cereal bars that looked like teddy bears that we got in the Degusta box like, this month. And it's really nice, like Rice crispy type thing, but hard. But I think as you put a um, milk on, it's supposed to soften them. So that was quite nice. But I've still got like um, a couple. Uh, well, I've got, still got five left in the box. So you get six in the box. And then I, I took me all this time. I got these from Middles, and these were so on special offer because they were like after Halloween. And these are like kind of their version of um, oh, what are they called. M&M's, but M&M's were better, but you know, they took a while to eat. Everything takes me a while to eat because I just try not to eat all in one go. Although having said that, I did eat these quite quickly because I really did like these. These were in the Degusta box and these are vegan friendly. So I was really happy to see that because that's the thing when you become vegetarian, vegan. The sweets that you like, like Harry Bows and all that jazz and all these, They've all got gelatin in and I checked profusely for them and I got upset because I bought some micrish thinking that they didn't have any gelatin in it and I ate it and then when I saw it I literally I felt so sick in my stomach but I gave it all to Paul anyway so yeah I them and everything's falling don't worry that's all right don't worry so look you can see that I've had a small one there from that big one and then I I got this I don't know whether I got this in when we used to get um Oh, what do you call it? I forgot what it's called now. We used to get it this in um, either the Betty Box or the Pink Parcel. And I, I just stored up all my teas and that. And I just started to drink them all. So this was really nice. This was a nighttime tea from Tea Bigs. Quite enjoyed that. <clears throat> I think this is more becoming a food. What have I eaten? Um, than there are um, anything else. There's another packet of loads there. But I showed you the box anyway. And then we got these fruit twists, which were a bit like um, cables, but they were like made from fruit, and they're vegetarian and vegan friendly, so they were really nice and tasty. We got two packs of these in our Degusta box, and they were really nice. I just think sometimes it's nice to see what I've actually used from the boxes that I get a month. And then there was this Mellow Puff, which was nice to know this was also vegetarian, so um, vegan, whatever. Uh, but uh, this is right, really tasty. Really enjoyed this. I would, I would, all these things that I like, I liked, I would buy again if I saw them. So I really enjoyed that. And then we had these. These were actually quite a, um, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it? I can't think of the word. A surprise, <laughs> sorry, for me. Um, I didn't expect these to be as tasty as they were and they were absolutely gorgeous they kind of like you ate them and then suddenly there was a hit of the lime and it was absolutely amazing love these if i see these for sale anywhere i will definitely buy a bag they are really really lovely then uh, there was the other thing which was the brioche waffle which paul had half of and that was very nice as well very sweet so best to share it so paul enjoyed that as much as myself and then I was just saying about like the different fruit pastels and that I don't know why I put this in there but so you can see these are the ones that are actually vegan now so that's fantastic really fantastic so don't need to put that in the rubbish just yet so so oh yeah there's another pack of, see I did tell you there was another pack of wipes which Paul tends to use these ones on my legs because they're like 90% light nothing on them because my legs are very sensitive to stuff so it says 99 percent pure water no perfume but unfortunately these are not um, biodegradable but um i do try to get the biodegradable ones now like the coconut ones or you can get ones from um was it panland or where was it b&m's which is just water ones and they're biodegradable but they're not from huggies they're from just like they're like a make and they're like water ones so that's pretty good so then we've got <clears throat> something that i got in a few unique sample service 
and it was one of them mistakes where they you was able to use the code so you didn't actually pay for anything because you paid for the 395 and then you got get the code back and this was a um oh who's this made by it's quite an expensive make and i can't for the life of me think what it is oh, what make is this um oh i can't even remember what is it oh yeah Fulga, Fulga, and this was i think worth quite a lot of money because it was like 20 what, what was the grams in this it's worth quite a bit of money but over 10 pounds or something for this little jar and i finally feel you know used it and i mean it takes me time sometimes to use stuff because i haven't got, i have got a good amount of stuff to go through but not as much as some people but not as more than others so i want to try and go through all of this like skincare that i've got and then one of these these were a gel to get my makeup off and this smells like is this the one that smells like turkish delight or is it the other one one of these smells like turkish delight so i've got this in one of the boxes i can't remember whether it's um whether it was the the rocker box or the um birch box or this could have actually been from oh, sugar there was a bit that just popped out um well it's one of the beauty boxes anyway so i got this which is quite nice and it got the makeup off really nice and is it this one that smells like it this is again the Ren renaissance cleaning gel oh this is the one that smells like turkish delight oh my god this smells like turkish delight again i got this from a beauty box and it smell. I think this was from Rockerbox a few months ago, and it smells. Oh my god, it smells so lovely. It just smells like Turkish delight, you know, because the rosy smell is really nice. I like that. It's like a cleaning balm. You put it on, you wet, and it just like made it all light. I, what I always do is use one of those, and um, one of these first. One of these first. Wash, you know, wipe it. Uh, put it in hot water. Wipe my face off first. And then I use something like that just to make sure that it's off. So this is like the one I use for my my um, brushes, just to wipe them on when I want to, when I want to sort of get it to another colour. So the, I use the ones I've got downstairs are in the bathroom, and I just use that, then take my then cleanse it with one of those, so we get like a good like makeup off. So here is another serum that I got in the few unique sample service. And like I'm not going to keep this pipette because it's like rubbishy but this again lasted quite a long time because it was a nice amount and um, yeah I really enjoyed that but I won't be paying long con prices it's just too it's just too expensive and I've got quite a lot of serums anyway at the moment I finally got round to using my nip and fab um, marks I think this was from um, I can't remember if this is, was in a rocker box or in the latest in beauties um, advent calendar from the year before last what I won so I'm not sure but it was alright you know it it did what he had to do it still got like quite wet in there and this is like you know you can see it's still quite wet but I didn't really want to you know mess about with all the stuff so yeah because sometimes if there's a lot of serum in it i'll just keep it and i use it for another day but there's that and i used another um thing which is a bit of a strange conundrum this one was it was like it's still a bit even this is a, i can't remember i got this in a beauty box ages ago but it's kind of like it was on like bits of plastic which is kind of unnecessary because that's not very good for the environment but like these, like the pa the paper was kind of gel, gelish paper, and it's still quite wet. Like and you and you can see like it's got like like it's real proper, strong. So I don't know how that's going to break down in the room, whether this is um, biodegradable or not. But I didn't, you know, and it came in two parts, and you put it on your face and that. So I don't know whether this is biodegradable. Probably not. Oh, this is from a um, Gossy box years ago that I got. It just says look for Gossy box, and I haven't had Gossy box for like two years, so I must have had it all that time. So 
there you go. I used it. It was alright. It's a face mask. Okay. And then I used some um, iron dry eye patches. These were pretty good actually. I had these on for a long time. Longer than I thought and they didn't slip so I was really pleased. I think I got these from um, um, Helen. Again what she sent me. So I used these. Not much now. And then I got this was um, sample service ages ago. Um, it's like um, a little bit left in now. I generally eat like just like a primer, well, just like a primer. Here's a primer. Oh, I've got bruise on there. Um, so yeah, so that that was all right, but um, it was made by I can't see it. Jane. What was that Erdell? So there's that. Then we've got oh, this is what I was telling you about where I had. Um, Helen sent me this so I already had this and I'd used this before because I'd got an ensemble service and this is such a good mask for your hair absolutely love this mask um, deep and it is I don't know how much it is to buy but it is really worth it if you can find it I would recommend this mask very much it made my hair feel so lovely and soft so there's that and then there's another tea bag that I got I don't know where I got this one from I don't even know ah oh, this was a gingerbread chai I'm not sure if I got this from the occult box or whatever I got it from it might have been from um, um, one of the rock boxes or something I'm not sure but it was really nice it, it was really enjoyed it was gingerbread chai it might well have been through um, from a cult box for Halloween I really enjoyed that as well and that's it that's it guys so that was my empties whether it be makeup or, or sorry beauty products or um, food that is what I've used from my box my degusser box this month and all the other bits and pieces I hope you enjoyed this video I really like to express how much like the degusser box I know like because you know, with, with makeup and um, skincare and that, it takes time, doesn't it? And you don't know how long it's going to be before you use that to show you. But, like, with the degusser box, I think um, the literal proof is in the pudding whether you eat it or not. I mean, some stuff I haven't touched that I was going to put away for Christmas and we didn't end up having Christmas, like the aubergine thing and that in December. But, you know the degusta box uh, my son's going to get a degusta box and use my code he said today because he knows that i really enjoy that and he wants to try it out and he's a chef and he wants to do all this that and the other because he's starting up his own business to do with like people ordering vegan food from him and it being sent to them so yeah hopefully that goes well for him so yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i can get a dog to say goodbye to you if you want me to um billy can you wake up? Let me get Billy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You haven't been on here for a while. Ooh. Let me wake him up. I'm so wicked tonight. Still, hey yo. You can say hello to everybody. Say hi, everybody. No, you're not looking over there. You're not looking over at the altar. I did their clip. Well, I did his clip. And um, I, try, I try my best when I'm clipping them, but. He was like creating when his daddy was outside last week and they don't always like their faces done and it's really hard so it looks a bit mismatchy but I've done my best for you didn't I eh? And when daddy was out there he was moaning and groaning weren't you as soon as he went in the front room he behaved himself so yeah we've been watching Pooch Perfect as well mummy's been getting lots of pointers hasn't she so she's got to get the curve um, scissors so I can do his legs better but yeah, he's, 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 like you say, he's half asleep, bless him, I don't know why he's so tired. But thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully soon I'll have to do um, the January Witch Casket and um, Cult Box, they've both been waiting for things to come down. So that's why they're a bit late this month, which is fair game because we are in a pandemic. So... Yeah, so look forward to hopefully they come tomorrow and I'll be back on here and we'll be unboxing them then. I'm very excited about both boxes. Um, so and then we'll see you then for, what was it, 
What do we get? Rocker box and we get oh I can't ring to it, birch box, that's it. And then the duster box. And then that's it, because we've got no Sabbath box this month because it's in box tomorrow um for a couple of days. And as you know, I did my inbox unboxing of inbox oh um <clears throat> I'll get it right in a minute. In bulk inboxing of Silver Fork and Daughters and I've done that so anyway thank you so much for watching I will put in the cards about that unboxing if you want to go and see it and the Degusta box as well so you can see these unboxings and I will see you in the next video so bye bye Billy Bum Bum say pause can you give mummy a pause up please and even if you want to push the pause down that's fine with us too isn't it we don't mind um each to their own everybody's entitled to an opinion they probably think i'm a yappy person about nothing but when you're stuck indoors with just pull to talk to it's just like when you start talking you don't stop <laughs> so take care guys and i will see you in the next video and always remember you know say it billy say it can we sit can we get a moan at you say it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't until next time my pink poodle too Mwah. Say bye guys. Hi, say bye bye. Say high five. High five, Billy. High five. Come on, give a high five. One. One. Come on. That was one. Two. He does five. Two. One. Billy, high five. One. Two. Come on. Two. You just want to do one. Look. look. You just want to do one high five. Two. Two. <laughs> he won't do it. Take care. Sorry. Be good. And stay safe and I will see you in the next Pink Poodle too. Bye guys. Bye.